Good morning and welcome back, Oxbow Creek. Boy, another four-day week. I uh, hope you enjoyed your three-day weekend. And I hope those of you who were here for Family Fun Night had a good time. It's always a good time. And it thanks to all the parents and volunteers who make that thing possible. It's a great tradition that we have here. You know, in the last couple of weeks here, we've been looking at friendship skills. And this week, we're also looking at one, and that's involvement. You know, half of living and doing good things is showing up. And involvement means you're not just sitting around doing nothing. You're getting active. Maybe it's with soccer. Maybe it's with softball or baseball. Maybe it's with just playing with friends in the neighborhood when you go out and run around in the park. But you're involved, and that's an important thing because I think when you don't join things and when you're not involved, you tend to go to the easy things like laying on the couch and playing a video game by yourself or watching too much Netflix or playing on a phone when you could be um, actively engaged with others. So uh, we're actually going to be looking at that later in the announcements today too. So Think about that this week when you talk about friendship skills, getting involved, and getting others involved. Many of our kids of character are ones that are getting other kids involved, asking them to play and that sort of thing. It's a great friendship skill to have. Hey, I got this book ball. I think I'll just play by myself. It's going to be more fun that way. Hey, I got a football. I think it'd be better to play with somebody. Hey, Savannah, want to play? Sure. You know, this past Sunday was Earth Day, and we have a couple of students to share some thoughts about Earth Day. Take it away. Hey, that's a recycling bin. That's how it goes. What does it go? In the trash. Oh, okay. Hey, that's a recycling bin. Hi, I'm Neva from 5DR. And I'm Lily from 5DR. Since yesterday is Earth Day, we thought it would be a good time to remind you about how we recycle here at Oxbow. We are in the loading dock area where students from 5DR and 5ST empty your recycling bins every day for. Most of you have two recycling bins in your classrooms or office area, a small blue bin and a large blue bin. Classrooms also have a small green bin for paper towels. The small blue bin, you have plastic bottles and aluminum bottles. In the small green bin, you put paper towels. In the large blue bin, you put paper and cardboard. And your snack wrappers go in the garbage, not in any of these bins. It's important. It is important that these items are be placed in the correct bins. It helps make our jobs easier when we sort. After we collect the bins from your classroom, we bring the bins right here to empty them. Here we separate the paper, cardboard, aluminum cans, and glass bottles. It is also important that we do not mix trash with items that are supposed to be recycled. You can help with this in your classroom as well as making sure recycled items are placed in the correct bins. If you have any questions about recycling, please contact your teacher. Thank you for your help and happy Earth Day. It's always a good idea to do something to protect this valuable, valuable thing that we have, the Earth. Thanks, kids. Well, we've got our book braggers down here again. I have four. They happen to all be girls this this week. We got to make sure guys are telling these these good books as well. So come on, stay with it. Uh, from three W H, Michaela, come on over. What do you have for us? Hi, I'm Michaela from three W H. I'm here to tell you about one of my favorite books, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. The Secret Garden is about a girl named Mary Lennox who goes to live with her uncle, and she hears about a hidden garden. She also meets. She also met a boy named Dickon Sowerby. Will they solve the mystery of the secret garden? If you like mystery books, then you would love the secret garden. Thank you, Michaela. I know they made this into a movie, too. I don't know if you knew that, but they made that into a Hallmark movie. It's a really good one. Thank you for sharing that with us. And from 3UN, Ava is here. 
Hi, I'm Ava from 3UN. I'm here to tell you about one of my favorite books, R.T. Margaret and the Rats of Nem, by Jane Colley. R.T. Margaret and the Rats of Nim is about two children getting lost during a camping trip, and one rat finds them and takes care of them. He tells the other rats, and they take care of them all summer. Back at home, they think they are dead. Will R.T. Margaret and Margaret get back home? If you like adventure books, then you would love R.T. Margaret and the Rats of Nim. I get a little freaked out about rats. How about you? Kind of. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that as well, Ava. Great. Three double E. Izzy, come on over. Hi, my name is Izzy from 3EE. I am here to tell you about one of my favorite books, Bad Kitty Gets a Bath by Nick Brill. Bad Kitty Gets a Bath is about a very bad kitty, and she needs a bath. But she doesn't want one. She's back. She's bad, and she really needs a bath. If you like fiction books, then you would love Bad Kitty Gets a Bath. Do you have a kitty at home? No, I'm allergic to them. <laughs> well, then they need a bath, so you're not allergic to them as well. Thank you, Izzy. Four double or four H A. Tori, come on over. What do you have for us? Hi, I'm Tori from Four H A, and I'm here to tell you about one of my favorite books, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is about a boy named Charlie, and his family are poor, and Charlie has a very exciting and adventure. It has a very exciting adventure in life. If you like fantasy books, then you would love Charlie and Chocolate Factory. One of my favorites from being a kid. That one's been around for a long time. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. It's awfully fun. Thanks, you guys. Great job. And our kids of character are down here again for this week. Love it. Kids that are showing great friendship skills. We have Rocky from KEA. Come on over, Rocky. It says here that Rocky is a student who's always lo looking for a classmate to help. If someone is in need of help with an activity, he steps right in, and if they need help with snow gear, he takes care of it. Rocky is a friend who likes to be sure everyone in the class feels like they are special. He's a role model that KEA is proud to have. Congratulations, Rocky. Keep up the great work. There you are. And then we have Isaris. And he's one of our second graders from 2OB. When I think of a student who represents all that a good friend should be, I think of Isaris. He's welcoming, kind, friendly, compassionate, and helpful to all kids that he encounters. He has the most welcoming smile, I noticed, and is always willing to share, include it, and just make everyone feel good. If I'm, I am so proud of the great friendship skills you model for your classmates. Way to go, Isaris. That's Mrs. O'Brien saying those wonderful things about you. Congratulations. Keep up the great work. Then we have Jordan. Come on over, one of our third graders. Seriously, what a fantastic kid. Jordan came into third grade pretty shy and quiet, but boy, has he come out of his shell now. He is confidently raising his hand, trying new challenging things, and helping others learn, too. When Jordan comes across something he doesn't know how to do, he sticks with it until he gets it right. To top it off, he's a super kind kid. Watch for this kid to do great things in the future. I don't doubt it at all. Congratulations, Jordan. Keep up the great work. And last but not least, Tori, one of our book braggers. And she's back again this time because she's wild about learning. She's demonstrated her wild about learning side by continuing to make progress in all academic areas. She's enthusiastic about learning new things and is always willing to help out in class. Ms. Hagberg's very proud of you. Congratulations. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. What a great group of kids. Let's keep that going. This week we're going to be handing out, and I know you probably already received these, this Oxbow Unplug. We've been doing this for a number of years, so those of you in fourth and fifth grade know all about this. But uh, the kindergartners, it's brand new. What I want you to do is keep track of how much time you spend in front of a screen. Okay? This used to be TV turn off, but now it's we call it Oxbow Unplugged because it's not just TVs. It's iPads, it's Chromebooks, it's phones time spent in front of a, of a screen. So we're going to take a week to figure out about how much time you spend on a screen. And then in the second week, we encourage you to try to make maybe some changes that maybe half as much time on a screen. We'll take one week to look at that and then one week to try to reduce the amount of time. Now, yes, at school now, we spend a lot of time on a screen too, on our Chromebooks and in our iPads and that sort of thing in the computer lab. But Sometimes when we're using it for learning, it's obviously a very positive tool. So we're not talking about getting off screens completely, but maybe we can reduce the amount of time that we spend on screens. Any student who fills this out and takes kind of the pledge or the challenge will be receiving something from us. We have a bunch of different things that we're going to be handing out to kids who complete this process in the next two weeks, Oxbow Unplugged. If you have any questions about it, just ask your teachers. 
Oh, kindergarten, you have David La Rochelle coming on Wednesday and Thursday. He's one of my favorites. I hope you have a great time with him. He's just a he's a really good guy. And for those of you who were here this fall, we had him for our literacy night. Uh, it's a real treat to have him here in our kindergarten classrooms as well. Well, those are the announcements. Let's get to the jokes as we wrap this up. 2CL Diesel wrote this one. What do you get when you put sand on a witch? Of course, you get a sandwich. Teresa from 4HA, why are teddy bears never hungry? Because they're always stuffed. A knock-knock joke from Reese. Knock-knock, who's there? Ollie. Ollie who? Ollie wants to do his dance. <laughs> Reese in 1MC. And last but not least, Zach from 5HE gave me a couple knock-knock jokes. Knock-knock, who's there? Amos. Amos who? A mosquito just bit me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Andy. Andy who? Andy just bit me again. Oh, it's almost time for mosquitoes. We've been longing for the spring. I think it's finally here. Everybody have a great four days. Let's pack five days worth into it, and we'll see you back here next Monday.